They're on the ground. I didn't yeah. see them. Oh. On the ground? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. I just heard them crashing around. Oh, oh, snacking. There's an electric fence, yeah. Is it electric or? Oh, yeah, up there you can Are see you it is. Because otherwise that wouldn't keep them in, right? Oh, that fence, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Having fruit for breakfast. Yeah, these don't live in our country. It's too oh. cold, too cold for them. Ah. <laughs> yeah. There's some more. Oh, I see a baboon. Yeah. So is this is the um, olive baboon? Sorry? Or the yellow? It, uh, that's the baboon. olive baboon. Yeah, because he's kind of olive color. Yeah, that's Okay, hello little monkey. Hi. Hi. You're curious. Hello. He's eating breakfast. Hello. He's curious. At home in Canada, I have three young ah. grandsons. Okay. So little ones, six years, four years, two years. Ah. So they will like to see this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the vervet monkey. Oh yeah, he's got maize there, corn, yeah. Oh, now he says more people. Yeah, he's eating maize. He's curious, but they, they know about the fence. They're not going to touch it. Is the fence electrified? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, otherwise they'd be up and out in two seconds. You see over there, there's a baboon. Mm. I'm going to go see right away over there. He's got his back to us. He's ignoring us. We'll go see him next. Wondering if we've got any more maize for him to eat. They hang their food up on trees. So those are vervets. You know, in my textbooks, they use these in research. Mm -hmm. sometimes oh, really? I, yeah, sometimes I have to. There, there, that's a better one. Tell my students about certain um, animals they've done research on, and vervet monkeys are 